YouTube, what's happening? Welcome to Mo's Knows. I'm your host, Mo's. Today, we continue in our 32-team mock draft series. We are headed down to Nashville, Tennessee, and we will be doing a full seven-round mock draft for your Tennessee Titans. Um, this roster is pretty good. Um, Mike Vrabel is coming as head coach, and he's established a culture of winning, um, but this team can't really get over the hump. Um, they have some really, really good pieces, um, but there's some areas that I really do want to focus on. Um, I think we're pretty good at quarterback with Ryan Tannehill. Some may say yes, some may say no. I don't think we're looking to, to get our quarterback of the future in this draft, so we're fine there. Obviously, Derrick Henry, King Henry, we know what we have in him. Question marks in that wide receiver room. Uh, A.J. Brown is a part of this, this class of wide receivers. Him, D.K. Metcalf, Terry McLaurin, and Debo Samuel. All not looking to negotiate right now. They, they I, I think they in cahoots. They all cool with each other. They all, you know, sometimes work out together and things like that. And we know A.J. and D.K. Are cool. I think they in cahoots. I think they trying to get the most money they possibly can for each other. And look like, I mean, I, I don't want to say it, but maybe A.J. Brown holds out. Maybe. We got Robert Woods coming off an injury. Don't really know what we're going to get from Nick Westbrook Aquina. And then outside of that. So I think we need to uh, address this, this wide receiver group. We got Austin Hooper at tight end. We're cool there. Taylor Luan, Ben Jones, Nate Davis, Dylan Raddins. Might want to take a look at upgrading that guard position, particularly at the left guard. Defense is solid. I, I really like the defense. Uh, we're probably going to look to, to, you know, find backups to fill some roles. Um, maybe we find a starter, but I think our, our, our 11 on defense are pretty solidified. So let's jump right in. Let's not waste too many too much time. We're going to select the Tennessee Titans. We want seven rounds. And we want fast draft speed because we don't care about what anybody else is doing. And let's get going. Hutchinson, Hamilton, Neil Walker, Kwanu, Willis, Thibodeau, Johnson, Gardner, Cross, Wilson, Stingley, Booth, Davis, McDuffie, London, Penny, Williams, Wyatt, Pickett, Olave, Karloftis, Kair Elam, Zion Johnson, Kyler Gordon. And now at 26, Tennessee Titans are on the clock. They agree with me. Wide receiver, big position in need. Linebacker, offensive tackle, tight end, corner, interior defensive line, edge, quarterback, running back. And I don't agree with a lot of those. Um, I do agree with offensive line, interior. I feel like interior should be higher. Um, so let's take a look at what we got on the board. Linebacker, we got Bud Dupree, Harold Andrew on the outside, David Long Jr., Zach Cunningham on the inside. We drafted Monte Rice last year, but we got Devin Lloyd on the board here at 26. That could be an option. We're looking to upgrade at guard. We got to keep making sure we open up holes for Derrick Henry and protect Ryan Tannehill. Ken Green from Texas A&M is an option. If we want to put Dylan Raddins inside at guard, we can move Ken Green outside the right tackle because he's, he's cross-trained. He can play both guard spots and right tackle. Wide receiver, we can add a Jahan Dawson or Traylon Burks. Hmm. Let me see the depth at interior. So Linderbaum, King Green, and then Tyler Smith, Sean Ryan, Salyer from Georgia, and Dylan Parham. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of names here, but there's a lot of names in a lot of positions right now. You could say after Dotson and Burks, there is Sky Moore, Christian Watson, but you get a little, not get shaky, but there is somewhat of a drop off. So do we want to go Jahan Dotson here and make sure we have the weapon or trailing Burks? I feel like it's tough because both positions that I want to address, we could attack. We could even say move Ben Jones to guard and draft a center like Tyler Linderbaum or put him at left guard until we're ready to move on from Ben Jones and then slide Linderbaum into center. 
So it's a lot of viable options here. Again, I feel like defense is a strength of this team. I don't really want to focus on that right now, although Devin Lloyd in this defense with a linebacker coach like Mike Gray, I think would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, but I think you need to help the offense. And while I want to do the responsible thing, I feel like this team has been trying to find a secondary weapon. So they drafted Corey Davis and then they drafted AJ Brown and Corey Davis didn't work out. They signed Julio Jones and that didn't work out. They brought Robert Woods over, but he's coming back from a torn ACL. I think this team wants to find a secondary weapon. And I feel like Jahan Dotson from Penn State could be that secondary weapon for them. Uh, once AJ Green is back in the fold, he's number one. Jahan Dotson is our number two. We can fold Robert Woods into the slot, AKA Bobby Trees. I'm gonna go Jahan Dotson at 26. I feel like we need to focus on that wide receiver position and look at that wide receivers off the board. So if I didn't take them, somebody else would have. And I'm glad I did that because we don't have a second round pick. The Tennessee Titans do not have a second round pick. Now they may want to trade use some of that draft capital to trade back up um, into the second round if there's a player on the board that they like, um, but they don't have a second round pick. Um, so not getting a wide receiver there, all those wide receivers that we mentioned, they're gone. Khalil Shakir, Christian Watson, uh, Traylon Burks, all those guys are gone. Now, I like Wondell Robinson, and I like Alec Pierce and Velas Jones, even a Bo Melton from Rutgers. But when you have the ability to get somebody like Jahan Dotson and bring him in, knowing that you want to add that secondary weapon, um, you got to you gotta do it. Linebacker is a need. Channing Tindall from Georgia had an outstanding combine. He is available. He's on the board. Offensive tackle, if we wanted to go that route, Abraham Lucas from Washington State is here. Um, I feel like we need to go more guard. Uh, could you slide Lucas inside? Yes, but I mean, there is a good guard here. Cole Strange from Chattanooga. I feel like he would be a solid fit. Cam Jurgens from Nebraska, I feel like he would be a solid fit. I mean, James Cook is on the board. Ooh. Do we want to wait on Strange and maybe look at corner? We got Caleb Farley, but we're still awaiting to see what's going on with him as far as injury and being healthy to get through the season. We have Christian Fulton behind that. A little shaky. Buster Screen up there in age. Elijah Molden. Eh. Chris Williams, Chris Jackson, Shaheen Carter. Eh. Maybe you look to, to, to get better in, in that area. Take a look at safety. We need a we need a we need a backup for Kevin Byer. He's not going anywhere. Um, but we don't have anybody behind him, so we could look to add somebody there. Maybe a Nick Cross, more of a, a strong safety in my opinion. Um, so I mean you can look to to add that that guy later. Uh, like a JT Woods, Yusef Corker, Reed Blankenship. Um I actually like the guard here. I actually like Cole Strange from Chattanooga. So I'm going to take him here at 90 and beef up that offensive line. Also could have been Alec Lindstrom. Uh, Mike Brable is very familiar with Alec Lindstrom because Mike Brable's son plays on the same offensive line so that his Mike Vrabel's son and Alec Lindstrom were teammates at Boston College so that also could have been the pick there but I, I just I just like Cole Strange um, putting a different name on these draft boards as well big fan of Alec Lindstrom though. really really big fan of Alec Lindstrom okay 
So we took care of uh, a guard need. We took care of wide receiver needs. Those are the, the two biggest things that I saw coming in um, for this team. Um, so now we can kind of take a look at, at where else we want to go and and do some 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 funky things here. A lot of edges on the board. A lot of edges that fit what we want to do from a three four outside linebacker standpoint. Uh, who here in the fourth round at pick 131 were also on the clock in 12 picks at 143, who we could add um, as that outside linebacker pass rusher, Majon Sanders, D'Angelo Malone, Dominique Robinson, like those guys. Um, like that we didn't wait and rush on a wide receiver because maybe Alec Pierce would have been those ones that we took. But as you can see, didn't need to take him in the third round because he's still here available in the fourth. So glad we didn't reach there. Uh, JT Woods is his top safety. I feel like he'd be a perfect fit as a backup to Kevin Byer. Um, maybe we don't get him with this pick, but maybe we try to snag him at 143. Let's go back to all. Edge rusher, okay. You wanted to add another tackle. You could. Cordell Volson from North Dakota State. I just talked about corner. You can go Kobe Bryant from Cincinnati here. Take a look at linebackers real quick. Sanborn, DeMarco Jackson, Damone Clark, Malcolm Rodriguez. Okay. Tight end. Do we want a secondary tight end behind Austin Hooper? I mean, we have the veteran Jeff Swain. I do like Chigga Conquo. He can add an element of speed as another pass catcher in this offense, but we got the receiver, AJ Robert. We got Austin Hooper, so I think we're okay there. Interior D line would need to be a nose tackle for this four three. I mean, we could get a a D lineman that could kick outside to that left or right defensive end in our three four. Um, but I don't see the need to go there at this moment. I think we're pretty solid with Jeff Simmons, Tyre Tart. Nico Autry, Naquan Jones is a backup. Even got Deshaun Hand on this roster. Um, we can look to add depth later if we want to add depth to that nose tackle spot. PJ Mustafer is a good option. We can look at some other edges um, in that three four scheme for later. I think I'm going to go corner here, and I think I'm going to take Kobe Bryant. Oh. Cincinnati, I can't stand you because I was going to get JT Woods at 143 and he is gone. I could take Tariq Carpenter from Georgia Tech. You see the two Georgia Tech safeties here. Tariq was free. Juan Ye was strong. So I could take him here. Um, I think I'm going to wait on safety though. Where are we at at linebackers? Jack Sanborn, DeMarco Jackson, those are still the same guys here. He's still on the board. And I'm trying to understand why. Let me go D'Angelo Malone as a backup pass rusher for our outside linebackers. He's still on the board. I think that's good value. Last pick in round four, still to be able to get D'Angelo Malone. I like that. On the clock here at 169. We could go linebacker now with DeMarco Jackson on Malcolm Rodriguez. Lean more towards DeMarco, in my opinion. Interior D-line, we're okay at the moment. 
Don't really want to look at quarterback. Running back. I think we like what Dontrell Hillier gave us last year, but do we look to get young, younger? We could go up here strong. Who has size and speed? We can go with a there's a Quandre right white. We could go with a Tyler Goodson or a Ty Chandler from North Carolina. We want to get somebody different, um, a pass catching back who can help us in that room. When is our next pick? Two oh four, and then two nineteen. 204, 219, and then we're done. So we're at 169, 204, and 219. So let's put a plan together. I think I'm going to go DeMarco just to satisfy that inside linebacker position. Let him come in battle with Dylan Cole. Who's our skipper and Joe Jones? Yeah. I'm going to go DeMarco here. <sighs> Would you love how the draft works? Goodness gracious. I like Marquise Bell, though. I like Amari Carter, too. 6'2", 200. They got him as a strong. A scheme. He can thrive in the boxing on the roof, but they got him as strong. I know Smoke is a strong. Um. Uh, I think I still might want to get Marquise Bell. All my running backs are going too good. They went quick. Mm. The linebackers were going too. So premium positions. Uh, Malcolm Rodriguez went right after I took uh, DeMarco Jackson so the linebackers are going to go regardless uh, I mean if you want to add a tight end we could add a Jalen Watermeyer didn't test well but on the football field he's a baller um and then maybe get the safety last. With the running backs who are here, maybe you can find one of these guys as a undrafted free agent. Maybe a Letty Brown, Isaiah Pacheco, uh, Master T, Keontae Ingram. Maybe those guys go and draft and you can snag one there. Uh, so let me go Watermeyer here. And then at 219, I'm going to try to snag my safety. All right, they kind of made it a little bit easier for us because Amari Carter is gone. So is Marquise Bell. I'm thinking maybe Quentin Lake from UCLA. Yeah. And just have him learn from Kevin Byer back there. Okay. Oh, my Niners got Taekwondo in at 220. Oh, oh, wow. I'm sorry. Sometimes I, I do that. Sometimes I see where my Niners go in the draft and I might blur it out. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for the Tennessee Titans. Once this finished, we'll go through, take a look at who we were able to select. All right. So that is seven picks in all. At pick 26, we take wide receiver Jahan Dawson for Penn State. At pick 90, we do not have a second round pick. So we went from the first round to the second round. We take uh, guard Cole Strange from Chattanooga. 
At 131, we take corner Kobe Bryant from Cincinnati. At 143, we take a rotational edge rusher, D'Angelo Malone from Western Kentucky. At 169, we take linebacker DeMarco Jackson from Appalachian State. At 204, we take tight end Jalen Wadamire from Texas A&M. And at 219, we take backup safety and special teams player Quentin Lake from UCLA. Titans fans, let me know how I did. Let me know if this draft is good or if I need to tighten up. Like how I did that. Uh, let me know what you like about this draft. Let me know what you didn't like about the draft. Let me know what you would do differently. What players are you eyeing for your team to select in the 2022 NFL draft? Sound off in the comment section below. You can also get in contact with me on my social media networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I will link all of those accounts in the description below. This is your first night of time at Mo's Nose. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I greatly appreciate you. Just do a couple of things. You can enjoy the rest of your day. One, hit that subscribe button. Become a part of the Mo's Nose fam. Once your family, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Two, take another two seconds and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time new content drops right here at Mo's Nose. Number three, smash that thumbs up on this video. Greatly appreciate it. Can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Y'all be easy.